good morning everyone uh, so in today's uh, video we will see uh, how a beginner can very easily uh, get started with splunk and understand what what it is all about coming to splunk splunk is a to a company that is founded in 2003 it's a it's a big data tool that has web browser as an interface it is a publicly traded company with over 20 billion market capitalization so the tool is not going to go go away anytime soon it's going to uh, see a very healthy uh, dose of uh, new new features coming coming in so it, it searches monitors and analyzes machine generated information so earlier Splunk became very famous uh, with uh, the security logs uh, that are created by different uh, firewalls so that is uh, how Splunk is very famous with uh, the security uh, incident and event monitoring that is called SIEM and from there uh, it it went on to be very powerful and uh, useful in uh, IoT domains and uh, banking domains as well so it's powered by a NoSQL database and it is optimized particularly for uh, time series uh, data in case you are wondering about the open source alternatives uh, for Splunk, so you can get it by a combination of Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. It is called the Elk Stack. In case you are wondering what all skill sets one would need, don't worry. <laughs> so Splunk is not a very difficult tool to learn and it doesn't need a lot of skill set. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, it needs a search processing language SPL of Splunk. It's a flattened version of SQL. Uh, in case you are not familiar with SQL, don't worry. It's very easy to learn. It's very intuitive also. The commands are very easy to learn. Uh, one JavaScript is uh, a good to have. In case you are familiar with JavaScript, it will help you in writing more powerful visualizations. Deployment options. Let's look at the deployment options that are supported by Splunk. Uh, so nowadays uh, organizations have uh, IT roadmap uh, that, that includes cloud on-premise. So Splunk has you covered on, on the cloud as well as on-premise environment. So on on-premise on uh, you have two two variants again. One is the single single node uh, Splunk installation and the other one is the cluster node uh, wherein you'll have uh, you you can just increase the capacity by adding one more node. We will we will uh, understand more about the cluster in the coming videos. So any any powerful uh, software tool uh, would need to go with uh, a, a wide array of licensing options uh, so that uh, it it supports supports the developers in trying out uh, the software effectively as well as. Uh, uh, for the enterprise to try out the use case and then eventually go with the use case with the proper licensing in case uh, it, it likes it so splunk offers uh, an array of uh, licensing options like one is the trial license trial license is of 30 days and uh, there is a developer license of 90 days uh, 180 days sorry uh, so the developer license can be applied and the developer license can be applied by uh, signing into a separate form I'll, I'll try to share the form uh, at the end of the video uh, so there, there will be an annual license and uh, the perpetual license option uh, irrespective of whether uh, one takes an annual license or perpetual license they would uh, still need to pay a Splunk support uh, fees that is separate and uh, please note that developer license uh, in case taken cannot be used uh, on the Splunk cluster mode it would not work that way so Splunk has uh, built a very powerful uh, developer community. So the documentation is very robust. So you can go back into any any version in time and uh, then look at how the different configuration options are, uh, like admin conf, limits dot conf, uh, and and so on. Uh, in, in, and uh, th there is a very powerful uh, user user community called answers dot Splunk dot com. So in case you have any query, you can go ahead and uh, check it out in answers.splunk. Uh, the chances are uh, that the query would already be answered in the, in the community by, by the point you search. That's the beauty of it. In, in Splunk, a piece of code or module is called an app. So Splunk base is a powerful uh, collation of all the 
apps that can be reused in case uh, uh, in case you, you have a use case you can check out splunk base and uh, if your use case is already covered there you can just download and install the app from splunk base and there are some free and uh, paid apps from splunk base Splunk education. Splunk education uh, gives, helps you in learning Splunk one uh, step by step and uh, to attain the certification uh, that will help aid you in your uh, job opportunities. So any any powerful tool uh, these days uh, should be extensible and uh, uh, we, we should be able to use it with uh, multiple uh, languages and uh, other platforms as well. So Splunk is very has very powerful uh, python java and javascript sdks and it also supports apis so thereby uh, we can use it with our uh, other tools in the organization as well so in the next uh, video we will see how to install splunk uh, please share if you have any feedback and thanks for watching